Workout is created and produced by High Bar Productions. Consult your physician before you start exercising with the Flex Magazine Workout. Follow the exercises carefully. Exercise at your own pace. Start with very light weights. If you feel any strain, stop immediately and consult your physician. Sean is doing the first exercise here in our leg routine, squats. This is no better exercise for total leg development than squats. You know he's going all the way down, all the way up. Now you can do this two ways. You can do it in a Smith machine like this, which has a safety factor to it, or you can do it with a barbell. Today we're doing it in the Smith machine here. Rick is spotting. You notice that you always should have someone standing right behind you to spot you in case you get in trouble. Good set. Good okay, who's up next? <laughs> All right, I'll spot. You can spot. Sean was like a machine. Okay. I'm not used to doing this particular machine. I normally All use right, a free good. bar, freestanding squats. That's it. For myself, it's the staple of my routine. Not everybody can do these. They have back injuries. Some people need a five pound plate or a block to stand on. Great. They have a tendency to lean forward on their toes. With the, with the Smith machine, what That's you'll it. notice. All the way. It's on an even plane. You don't rock back and forth. That's what's good about this. All right, boy, you're up, man. Okay, you got him? Good. I got him. Let's go. Good spot. This isn't enough weight to really utilize the maximum out of your spotter. But eventually, as the poundage up. increases, you're going to need it. Believe me. Up. Also, what's recommended when you start getting heavier Come on. is a weightlifting belt. If you don't have a weightlifting belt, keep the weight down. Do more repetitions. Work Excellent. on your form. Notice his head's up. Looking you know, straight ahead. Boyer always controls the whole movement. You notice when he trains? That's Look at the, this. That's the experience exactly he has. Excellent, right here. Come on. You know, that's the key to staying injury free. Exactly. Sometimes I throw caution to the wind. I don't know. I blame it on my age and my experience. We all do that, though. Sure, I want to find out how strong I am and what I can do. But there's nothing wrong with that invincibility uh, feeling, you know? That's right. That's right. It's just that there's a fine line between injury and uh, intensity. That's right. Let's I think keep this going. is probably the exercise that everybody, when you very first started working out, that you always did first. You this monitor your strength, strength with this and one. bench press. That's right. Okay, let's go over to the leg let's press and continue on with the Who's leg up workout. First? It's my set. Okay. My set. Let's put some weight on for him. Yeah, give me another plate. All right. Let's All right. Go, baby. Come on. Again, this is another overall quad exercise. Not only working the quads, but it also hits the hamstrings and the buttocks as well. This is a real power movement. Full range of movement. <coughs> Excellent. You notice your Sean's getting a full range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. Beautiful. You can see the power in his legs as he's shoving up with. Great leg development. And notice he's not snapping his right. knees. You know, he's coming up and locking them. Well, it's, it's always important to control the movement, both all the way down and all the way up. You yep. just want to drop it. That's right. Good job. Okay. Good job. Stay injury free that way. <coughs> Boyer, let me ask you a question. Do you ever wear the knee wraps when you uh, work out? You know, I never have. For as no. long as I've been training, which is over 30 years, I've never, ever worn knee wraps. Yeah. Um, I started out wearing knee wraps because I thought you needed them. As soon as you get up around three plates on the squat or five plates on the leg press, I thought you needed for support. Well, Not I think, everybody I does. I think a lot of times it's psychological. Like, I always wear a lifting belt. And a lot of times you probably don't need it. But if you think you do, it's beneficial. The main thing is to get the most out of each exercise. Pump it out, Rick. The good okay. thing about this particular exercise you can do half reps. Come on, baby. That's let's true. go. You know, if you can't do full range at the end, you just start doing half reps, yep. drop sets. You want to show him how to do a drop set yep. right now? Let's do that. Let's okay. torture him. I mean, let's put him through a little <laughs> drop set. Let's try it. Come on. Come on. It's funny we're saying that now. Remember you're looking at this guy in the magazines? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I know. I yeah. definitely do. What we'll do is we'll do six good reps, pull one Full off, play. six more. Come on, boy. Okay. Two. Come on, baby. Three. Keep going. Let's go. Four. Four. Come on. Pick it up. Five. Yes. Come on. Okay, let's drop set. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Pull it off. Hey, go ahead, baby. Let's go. One. Keep going. Two. Two. Come on. Three. Three. Yes. Four. Four. Yeah. Five. 
Yes. Notice how he's controlling the weight. Good. Stay there, baby. Another one? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going. Okay. That's right. Let's go. I don't get to be on the show all that much, so I'm not <laughs> Make it more impression. Come on. Get up. There you go. Come on. Excellent. Come on. There you go. Come on, boy. Give me some. Come on. Good job. Come on. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Okay. Back. All right. All right. Let's put this weight back up there. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next exercise. You feel that one? You feel that? Definitely. Definitely. That got my <laughs> attention. Let's take All off right. the 35. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you guys a little variation of the squat. I know you already know it, but you may not, may or may not do it. Okay. The front squat. Yeah, I I'm never sure you, do it. No? no you know not why? everybody does. After I had surgery here, I felt so uncomfortable. Hard to hold it up yeah. there. It's a technique you have to learn and you really do. get into it. But once you do, it really isolates the front part That's of right. the leg. Some people feel so comfortable with it, yep. and just it feels uncomfortable. Let to me get a spot from your wrist. I got you. What I need is for you to twist it off because it's I a got Smith you. machine. No problem. Here okay. we go. Here again is right. a variation of the full squat, but this time Sean has a bar on his chest. Excellent. This puts more emphasis Two. on the frontal part Come of on, the Sean. thigh. Three. Again, Excellent. he's going all the way down, all the way up. A very deep squat. Beautiful. Good. Yes. Excellent form. Yeah. And now doing this after the leg press, the heavy movement there, I'm sure you don't need much weight, no, right? You really burn the quads That's up. Good. I got you. Good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> See, you need monster delts to hold the weight up here. I noticed yeah. this delt all Let me give you a spot. In. I tell you what, it helps, but yeah. it also hurts too. Okay. So Ready? what happens? Okay. The bar rolls back into your neck. Okay. Sometimes it cuts off that circulation. Right, I got it. Okay. okay. Let's get it. So be conscious Perfect. of that. A lot of times, what I do, I'll wrap a towel around the bar. That way I get a little cushion right here. Real Wait. men don't use a towel. Well, <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'm just a baby, you know? You don't forget that. I'm still working on it. Good, Rick. All the way. But a, a towel or a soft pad right. okay. so you don't get the line across your Thank chest. You. Woo. OK. OK, let's get more in right there. Right. Right. Spot. You spot. I got you. Here we go. Good thing about this, you, you don't need a lot of weight. You're right. You know, it's just like, it's similar to hack squats in a way. You know, people start to realize the more you're into bodybuilding and training, the longer. You don't need that much weight. No, I know. Come on, come on. Uh, I seen Luke Ferrigno work out a number of times and compete against him. And uh, he's come a big on. man. You think he's a lot stronger, he's a lot more weight. Right. But believe me, you don't need a whole lot of weight. Lots of good form. It's Consistency. all about isolation, too. Come on, baby. This is a quad burn. It really finishes the quads off. OK, good set. OK, Rick, you're up. Yeah, stretch them out. I'm getting overexcited there. That's a lot of weight. I know. All right, right let's no, get it. I can't take the weight down. No. <laughs> well, let's go. Show well, let's go guy. talk. Let's do it. That's it. Get it. All the way. You notice he's getting a complete range of motion all the way up, all the way down, really burning those quads out. This is the last little bit of energy he has left for the quads. All the way. Separation. All the way. Good. Yep. Tw I did 12, right? Yeah, I right. 15. Come on. Yeah. Two more. One. Good. Oh. Good job. Good set. Ooh, baby. Good set. Oh, Got to stretch it between sets, too. Well, the main thing I noticed, Rick, you kept your butt down on this machine. A lot of people, when they're going heavier, they're have a tendency to rise up. Right. And all they're doing is really just lifting up and down with their butt instead of... What do you say okay. we give the old man a breakdown? I mean, Boyer a breakdown. We'll do a breakdown set with Boyer. All right. Okay. Come on, baby. One. What we mean by breakdown Two. is... After 10 reps, 8 reps, doesn't matter. The number does, is not really important. Right, as soon as he on. stops, boom. We lighten it up about 20 pounds. He does the same yeah. amount of reps. Lighten it up yes. again. That's three yes. drop sets in one set. So he's actually getting maybe 30 Good repetitions job. in one set. You Good do that job. three or four times, the legs will be on fire. I can rip the shreds. Here we okay. go. All right. Drop it. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. Ready? Work it out. Continuing now. On, no rest. Going. No rest Tops. for the wicked. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like that. Come on. Well, I just came off of a couple of contests myself. And the thing is, when you're training for competition and your body weight's dropping, your calories are dropping, you're training two and three times okay. a day. All right. One more time? Yeah. One more time. This is a triple drop set. All right. Here okay, we let's go. go. Control it. Nice go and slow and just squeeze. Like I was saying, squeeze. you're, you're going to lose a little bit of strength. This is the squeeze. time to incorporate the triple Beautiful. drop sets just yes. to get those reps. Look at Boyer Swain. Come on, baby. He's yes. working hard. Come on. That's it. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Good All job. right. Let's move on to the leg curl. All right. Right here. Hamstrings. You're up first? Yeah. All hamstrings. Right. It's good that this is adjustable. That's perfect. Good. Right. Everybody's a little bit different, so you got to make sure that when you get on the machine, it fits your body. Come on, Sean. You notice in a leg curl, you definitely want to make sure that you always get a complete range of motion. See how Sean is doing a complete range. 
bringing it all the way up to the back of his thigh. Right. Come on, baby. All the way. There you go. Excellent. Good. OK. All Good right. Job. You're up there. All right. I like to bring this down just a little bit. Oh, I didn't notice there's two handles. Some yeah. of them don't have that. Boyer, I know when you were training over at the, the other gym, some of these machines are like it's just straight and then a 90 degree angle. Is that right? Well, this here is angled a little differently. So in other words, you can comfortably do this, and the heart is not so lower yeah. than the, the legs that you have a problem breathing. So you get a better stretch also because yeah. the angle. Yeah, it's very important to get a full stretch on that hamstring. Actually go into a pre-stretch state. Yeah. Come on, Rick. When you get it. When you do your set, can you show me? Because I've seen some guys do this. They come up like on their elbows and arch their back and raise their head. Well, I think the reason for that, Sean, is the fact that if your bench here is straight, straight yeah. arching the back puts more emphasis on the, on on the, the hamstring. hamstring. But the way this is designed, that's really yeah. not necessary. All right. All right, boy, let's go. Oh, uh oh, he's up in the way here. See, that's why I hate when he goes last. Wait, we, got, we got some more sets. You know? We're going to come through this a couple more okay. times. We're just getting warm. This is like a, a really our first real come set. Come on, boy. Now, if Boyer needed a spot, we're right here by the heels, right okay. here. Come on, baby. Up, squeeze. Excellent. Perfect. Look at the separation. Squeeze. The yeah. His there. skin is always paper thin. Well, he's always on it. Well, he doesn't diet, but uh, Come on. the years of experience. Excellent. I know when I stop training, I Come get on, smooth, no definition. I got to actually do a more aerobic work. That's good. Smooth. Excellent. I like because he's keeping his chest down, right. hips onto the bench, and it's all in the hamstring. Isolating the hamstring. That's what it's about, right here. Squeeze. Okay. Come on. Up, squeeze. Okay. Good job. Let's move on to the next hamstring. Woo. That's great. I like I'm going to move on and stretch your mouth. This happens to be a favorite of mine and a lot of females. We get a lot of questions here at Flex Magazine Workout about the glutes. Females mostly, in general, they want this area nice and tight. And uh, this is an exercise that will do that for them, you know? I know it helps for me. Stiff leg. You got it for you. OK, now you notice that Sean is keeping his legs totally straight. If you have somewhat of a back problem, it's a little uncomfortable, or perhaps you're not quite as flexible as Sean, you can bend the knees slightly. But it's very effective to try and keep the, the legs totally straight. Not only works the glutes, but really stretches the hamstrings out. Perfect exercise to follow up on the leg curls. Yeah, it is. You feel the stretch all the way up, you know? <coughs> and the leg curls, it kind of isolates the meaty part, the bicep. That's right. Bicep. This is bringing it up into almost the lower back area. Also, this has a tendency to, to hit the hamstrings up very high, yeah. which you really don't feel in doing a leg curl. That's it really cool. isolates the top part. Very important. Yeah, I mean, variety is the key. There's not one exercise that works better than the next exercise. Okay? Well, I think it's very important, too, just like you said, variety, because Woo. unless you maintain that variety, it's hard to keep enthusiasm up in your training. Oh, There's no question. Now, there are people a little bit more flexible than others, so yeah. they can use a block to get more of a stretch, correct? I usually do it off the edge of a bench when I'm going right. heavy, because I, I usually use 45 pounds. And they'll hit. So it's higher, yeah, it hits yeah. the ground. So off the edge of a bench or off of a, a block, so, so uh -huh. big. You gotta be careful on that, concentrate. Yeah, now with this movement, I see a lot of people doing, they come back and they squeeze their back, and some don't. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you don't, does it keep it on the hamstrings more? Actually, I mean, it's, it, it depends on what you really want to concentrate on. I also do these for the lower back. Right. So as I come up, trying to build the Christmas tree, I squeeze it back here. I see. But I'm always, my hands are just hooks. I'm so, my and so, right, exactly. Now, if we wanted more hamstring, you would come back I would come way. back as okay. far. I just come down. Good but I job, want to boy. squeeze my, my glutes right here when I come down. All right. The best thing to do to keep the intensity up and the pace up is to always work rhythm rhythmically. That means as soon as he's done, you jump in, All then I'll right. jump in, keep the pace steady and rhythmic. What Boyer is doing right here, he's holding it. It's basically a rest-pause situation where he holds it at the top, brings it down for the stretch, and rest. It's a very slow pace. I usually keep a faster pace. How about you? I kind of like in, the in between also, Sean. Just keep it going, keep the blood moving. And what this exercise is going to do is develop the split right down the hamstring. You have to hit a side chest pose, which you're famous for. Okay. You really can see the hamstring pop All out. Right, let me okay. try one of these. Boy, it made it look so easy. Let me try it. <laughs> He's using a little lighter weight than All right. normal. There you go. OK, good, good. See how it really contracts that hamstring right at the very top where it ties into the buttocks. Ah, now, this yeah. for me is almost basically a free contest exercise because then I can do one leg at a right, time. Right, right. I like the lying leg curl better. Yeah, that's my favorite, too. That's almost like doing a preacher curl for the hamstring. You know? This is like a concentration curl for the bicep. Right, right. There you go. Good. I switched it up that time, Sean. The one slow, one fast works pretty good. OK. okay. I, I like to hold on right here. Yeah, there's several variations. See, Sean has taken a more direct stance where Vince and I was leaning into the pad. 
really doesn't matter that much. Whatever you feel that isolates the hamstring best for you. Yeah, Sean does it at a much faster pace than we do. Better keep going, Sean, so I'm right behind you. That's all right. Good, good. Keep it up. It's too bad we don't have a mirror right here. I know you could do a few more reps. Yeah, see how close I was to him. All you okay. got to show me is a picture of Vince. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's get on to the lying leg curls here. Who's going first? We'll get Vince in there. I want to see what I can I do. I got the spot. OK. I got to find out Vince's secret, so I'm watching what he does. <laughs> OK, you going to spot him back yeah, there, Sean? Okay. Okay. All right. OK, the lying leg curl is a basic movement for the hamstrings, the thigh biceps. As I said earlier, it's almost like doing a preacher curl for the hamstrings. Right. Really a good isolation, on, full range motion. You get a good pre-stretch. Actually, it's, a, it's more of a pre-stretch motion than the standing good. leg curl. Good. All right, I'll go next. OK. Move on you want to spot me, Vince? All okay. right, boy. OK. Now again, this is the one I said is one of my favorites. Basically, we're kind of limited, right, Vince, in the number of exercises for hamstrings. Right. So it's always good to incorporate a lot of sets. How about you? How many are you doing? After looking at these hamstrings back here, I'm going to do a <laughs> lot more. Let me tell you, I've been watching Boya Cole for years. He has some of the greatest pair of legs I've seen. Yeah, for sure. I get this man's secret. It helps to stay lean also. Absolutely. But again, one of the reasons why this is my, one of my favorites is because I can use lots of weight. Right, Boya. You okay, know, and, all right, let's go. When you use a lot of weight, you're going to build more mass. All right. Good. One more, Boya, one more. All right. Okay. All right, good job. Let's okay. Move on. Are we going on to the next one? Yeah, let's do uh, finish off our hamstrings with hyperextensions. Okay, great. <laughs> I usually use the hyperextensions before a competition. So you don't do this? This is not part of your everyday uh, leg routine. This then. is about three months out from Okay, me. so this is a specialty exercise for you. As you'll notice, this not only isolates the hamstring area, but it also works the glutes very effectively and the lower back. You're getting a good pre-stretch, good range of motion, and a good contraction at the top. Great shot. Excellent movement, Sean. Nice and smooth. Also, uh, you know that we're on a 45 degree angle here. Yeah. Makes it easy to get in and out of the unit. Uh, I'll go. I don't know if you noticed on that, Vince, but when I come up, I actually squeeze my glutes together. You know, because when you're on stage and you turn around to the back, you really want to have a nice, right. tight set of glutes back there. In order to get that, I actually squeeze my glutes and force all the air out of my system and tense up the lower back. Excellent movement. I don't see too many of these pieces of equipment around. No, they they got various machines. The one in my gym is like a 90 degree angle. You hang out the side, boom. But uh, I've seen Boyer use this machine quite often. On occasion, he's used like a 25 or a 45 pound plate to add more resistance. Right. Now I noticed this year on stage, your lower back was very tight. I don't know if it was as a direct use of this equipment, but did you do something special for your lower back? Well, I tell you, okay. I just started training lower back. Okay. For the first time, a little bit of bent over rolls deadlifts like that just great. to see if it works. Well, you know what? In conjunction with the lower back, like you said, this is a great way to stretch out the hamstrings. Yeah, it, hamstring. it's very important in any leg movement, particularly the hamstrings, because that there's a lot of time results in the, the pulls in the muscle, tears, and a lot of people get hamstring pulls. This stretching out like this will prevent that. You know, it's very rare to find three professionals one of the guys cheering on the yeah. other guy. I don't really want to cheer this guy on. I know See, I can cheer you guys on because I'm not competing against let's you. Go, guys. Let's right, go, guys. Let's go one more go time again. through. All right. OK. All right, let's get that motion. Let's keep that rhythm hot. Good. That's it. Good. Full range, contraction at the top. Great. Good OK, work, good leg. Good work. Great. That's it. OK, great. High intensity. Two more. Come on. Right. Come on. All right. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more weight. You guys are too easy on this thing. Let's increase that intensity. Well, the good thing about training with you, Vince, uh, is that we all have a little different way of doing the exercise. But we're both we're all for the common end goal, really, and that's bigger, more developed hamstrings. Now, to get the, the hamstrings more ripped up, are you using higher repetitions? I do. I think that was the most effective way. Burn them up, keep them warm, keep that blood flowing. Yeah, he's totally he's totally erect on this thing. He's pulling his chest actually in as he squeezes up the hamstring. Great for you. Now, this is a body part that's really neglected. When you see guys on stage, you can see who's done their homework. Absolutely. Yeah, when they got great separation on the hamstrings. A lot of that separation, too, is also related to diet. Now, do you eat anything special in order to bring out that definition? No, we do the basic. A, B, C, chicken, tuna, fish. Yes. Make High protein. Yeah. All right, boy, let me yeah. try okay. some of these. I think I'm going to cut back on some of that. Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. I found the calves have no secret. There are too many major bodybuilders who lack in the calf department. And believe me, they work out with every imaginable exercise. It's one of those exercises or 
muscle groups if you have, it will excel. If you don't, they're going to be stubborn, and it's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do about it. Don't give up. Continue to bomb, but be realistic. You're not going to put two or three inches on them if they're not in your genetic potential. All right, what this is, is this is a toe press on the leg, leg press machine. Notice he didn't unlock the safety bars. This is here for safety so it doesn't come down on your thighs. Rick's got the close grip, or toes in uh, position. You can go outward, you can go inward, you can go straight ahead. He's working basically the outside of his calf, isn't right. it? One of the important things to remember, too, in calf raise, most everyone will get the contraction part of the movement right, but it's very important to get that stretch part. Yeah, All right, so you want that full here stretch. We go. I mean, the extension's easy. Isn't it? Right. You notice right, how he's on. getting a complete range of motion. In other words, this is one exercise that I believe getting the range of motion is essential for calf development. The more stretch you can get in the calves, the bigger the calves you have. The more range of motion you're going to have. Brings it down lower. That's right. That's right. All you guys the way. Both have great calf development. So you do them a lot, or is it a genetic thing, or what? Well, for you know, me, I do high reps. Yeah. They've come up a lot, too, because I've known them for quite a few years. They look good. Come All on. the way. All the way. Here we go. Come on. You know, he's getting a complete range of motion, which is very essential. Okay. All the way up, all the way down. All right, boy. Okay, my set. Now, with any other muscle, you must stretch in between sets. <clears throat> Come on, boy, let's go. Show us how it's done, buddy. He's doing it with the toes out on this one. Right. That's going to work the inside, inside? Of the calf a little bit more. Okay. It's right there. It's it amazing is. how thin his skin always is. Look see, at this. See, this is another thing. What I mean by a range of motion, I don't think there's any human being alive that's got much flexibility in their ankles as I do. And it's primarily for years of just stretching right. the calf. That's right. But by doing that, by creating that greater range of motion, you're also enabling the calves to be bigger. I notice that you're able to talk while you're doing this. So this isn't really heavy for you. I don't think you. so either. Is but it? it's good for the stretch. On the next exercise, we'll get a little heavier, huh? All right. I like to do these too. Look at how far the stretch is. Yeah. You know, okay. it's funny because with calves, you know, we're always wearing pants. You don't think about it. You know what I mean? I think about well, it. Well, you do, yeah. I got to get up know. there on stage. Most monsters. people most people don't, right? Yeah, you're right. All right, here we go. Come on. On the hole. That's right. OK. Let's go big time. Come on. OK, this is a little unique calf uh, machine. It takes the pressure off of the shoulders, kind of a machine that you do in place of standing And the calf. lower back as well. Right. right. Oh, definitely. And you notice it forces a person to go down into full stretch position. There's no way that right. his heels can hit the floor or anything. Yeah, exactly. Creates a greater range of motion. Come on, Sean. All the way up, Sean. I can help put up two right here. Come on, got some all shows the way. coming up. You need some That's big it. calves. Burn those calves. That's it. Burn those calves. That's right. Good. That's okay. right. Ah, you can feel it, for sure. I got That's weak why, arches, too, so this is good for me. You know, I personally like to do them before my leg workout, because by the time you get done with yeah. thighs, your thighs are shaking, you know what I, I mean? Know. Sometimes I don't even do these on leg days. Sometimes Thank I do you. them See, that's back. what I thought today was a thigh but, workout. Well, you can do well, it Well, we, we tried to get everything in today, but normally, you know, I think you should probably split it up so you can concentrate more on the calves sure. rather than, uh, you know, combining calves and thighs. Actually, I appreciate it, because God knows I need more calf work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. I know that. Well, I also noticed, Rick, that uh, you didn't have your legs straight. You kind of slightly bend your knees. Is yeah. Is that... Uh, oh, I don't know. I just see I don't know. For me, I like to keep my legs straight. Right? Similar to Boyer's. OK. I mean, everybody's different. No, hey, listen. You, you know, you have to be open-minded and try new things at all times. That's how you learn. So next time I do it, I'll keep my knees straight, see if I feel it. Yeah. Come on, Boyer. Well, I think it works more the gas drop the knees straight. When you bend the knees slightly, you work it more in the soleus oh, okay. on the outside. But this is primarily for a movement for the gastroc for the inner calf. Come on, baby. It's real important go. to go all the way down, get that stretch at the bottom, all the way all up. All the way up. Well, does it matter what kind of shoe you wear? Because these are like the shoes I train in all the time. It's, it's whatever shoes. shoe feels comfortable for you. You know, I got certain shoes that I call calf shoes that yeah. I, I have to wear when I wear calves. Otherwise, uh, I just can't get into just the don't exercise. Take them off. That's, That's all. right. Okay, let's go one more. Let's Come do it. On. Okay. We're gonna Come go on. on. One more circuit. Yeah. One more circuit. Okay. Yeah. Let's my, go. My, let's my go. Calves let's are go. Pretty pumped. And we'll stretch a little bit more in between sets too. Okay. All right. Let's go. Back. I'm gonna do a toes out like Boyer did. Okay. Yeah. This really hits the inner head of the calf when you turn the toes out. All right. You Come on, see Sean. on calf is, is really a swelling up Let's from go, all the blood just, in oh, the yeah. calf. Concentrate now. Just think about being on stage, doing a back double bicep. Calves calf. are very essential in bodybuilding. I mean, it's just, it's very crucial to have well-developed calves. There's a lot of guys who make the mistake uh. that they really don't 
try and put the forth the same effort and, and in calves. Train them when they're five. younger. That's right. Make a difference. Exactly right. Yeah, it matters when you start training calves, doesn't it? Most definitely. I mean, everybody's normally starting out with biceps or chest, and then later on down the road, they're wondering what happened to their legs. And when people legs like when that. people first start training, naturally they don't want to work the showy muscles, the arms and the chest. Exactly. But legs are half the body, and calves in particular are very important for overall symmetry. So, I mean, just personally speaking, I normally do about. Five sets here, five sets there, kid sets total. I yeah, mean, it varies right. from person to person, but I mean, that's about a good average, isn't it? I think so, about 10 to 12 sets on calves. Uh, what about cycling it? Like, you know, like doing 25, 30 reps, maybe, you know, for a couple of days. I think it, I think take it depends a day on the individual. I'm, I'm never been one to really favor high repetitions. I think it's basically that's, that's what an makes, individual thing. That's what makes this whole sport so confusing. Right. I mean, yeah. Nothing is in stone. We got a couple of more minutes left. About two or three more minutes, and our 30 minutes are up. I'm gonna do a couple more reps to take us okay. out of here. Okay, you're on. Okay. Come on. Home. One, two, three. <sighs> Flex Magazine Workout is created and produced by High Bar Productions in association with Weeder Publications Incorporated and ESPN.